Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Most of you are probably aware, maybe some of you are not, that Glock introduced a new handgun today, this morning, December 10th. It's called the Glock 44 and it's chambered in 22 long rifle. It has the same size and dimensions as the Glock 19. All right, it's got a four inch barrel. It does have front serrations, an adjustable rear sight, uh, additional back straps, and what makes the G44 interesting is that the slide is a hybrid of steel and polymer, and the rails are all steel. So it mimics the Glock 19, same size. I imagine it's a bit lighter. They said the slide is lighter, and that will help chamber the 22 long rifle. Now, many people were wondering what Glock was going to come up with because of the lead up. Glock said there's a huge announcement. It's coming on December 10th and it left a lot of people wondering what is going on. And they introduced the Glock 44. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that are excited about that. I remember last year, right around the same time, Glock introduced the 43X and the Glock 48. And here's the 43X. I was extremely excited about this. I think Glock did a nice job. Now, a lot of people said, I've got the Glock 26. I don't need that 43X, but they did like the 48. And whatever the case, a lot of people enjoyed it. A lot of people were running around trying to get them, and I was no different. I don't feel like I'm going to... Uh, have that same, well, I know I don't have that same type of enthusiasm for the Glock 44, mainly because it's it's just not that interesting to me. Now, every time Glock puts out a, a new handgun, people get in front of their camera, they get in front of their computer and blog and so forth and say that Glock really dropped the ball. They, they say that and they say, you know, this is going to do horrible, nobody's going to like it, and yet Glock cannot even keep them on the shelves in the local gun stores. I think that is what is going to happen with the Glock 44. I think people are going to run after it. The MSRP is $430. It will probably sell for right around that price initially. And then eventually it'll drop to right around $400. Glock is saying it's a great training tool leading up to the Glock 19. Well, it might be a great training tool being that it does have the same size and most likely a little bit lighter, but when when shooting, it's it's the recoil management. It's that felt recoil that is the difference. So with a 22, the, the forehand hardly moves when shooting. Even with a 9mm that does have very light recoil, it, it still recoils a bit where you have to get on target between every shot. And so when I hear that it's a great training tool, I agree with that with that to a point. And then to another point, it's not even in the same ballpark when shooting 22 long rifle. A thing that I don't really care for with the Glock 44 is that they the magazines are 10 rounds each. Now, Taurus put out the TX22 last year, and that's a 16 round magazine plus one. And that's also a striker fire gun, and that could be purchased for right around $250, $260. The 44, G44, is has an MSRP of $430. Quite a big difference there. Now, I know some of you guys are saying, well, how dare you put Glock and Taurus in the same category? Well, isn't that what we're looking at here? You know, I mean, the, the a TX-22 that Taurus put out was phenomenal handgun i mean it was a real nice shooting handgun it's a striker fire it was very light and then it, it did everything that anybody who loves 22 long rifle would expect for it to do and i have to believe that the glock 44 will do everything that people who love 22 long rifle would expect it to do i'm sure it's going to be accurate but you know walter has that m p has that a taurus has that now caltech is coming out with a uh, 22 long rifle handgun with an MSRP of 199 So you look at that, you look at what kel did last year with the CP33, that was very innovative. Had Glock come out with a 1911, oh my gosh, I would be on fire for it. If Glock came out with a carbine, I would be contacting Glock constantly trying to get my hands on one or a revolver. I would be so excited. This just isn't something that I'm going to chase after. 
for Glock to come out with the G44, it kind of brings me back to when they came out with the Glock 40 MOS. Yes, it was cool. Yes, it was a big, their long slide Glock in 10 millimeter that had the modular optic system. And yes, it brought a little bit of excitement, but I don't think there are a lot of people chasing after it. And I don't think a lot of people are going to be chasing after this. The 1911, oh my gosh, I'd be on fire. Revolver, yep, carbine. It count me in. Glock 44, eh, we'll have to see. We'll have to wait and see. It's a wait and see thing, but they did introduce it. There was a, a lead up to the launch. It was very exciting. A lot of people standing by their computers wondering what Glock is going to come up with. And now we know, and it's just not a game changer in my opinion. But we'll have to see. Maybe it's the greatest thing on earth, but at this point, I seriously doubt it. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.